So what is going on guys, Fly here from Rotary Studios, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of the GTA 5 Online Tips and Tricks series. This is actually episode 6. This is the series in which I tell you guys 3 tips a week that you may or may not have known about GTA 5 and GTA Online, and hopefully I can enlighten you guys and make your overall playtime more enjoyable. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to go and leave a like down below, zero to help me out. Now let's get into it. So, this first tip is actually a tip on how to get a pearlescent paint job on top of any type of paint in GTA 5 and online. So, normally you can only apply pearlescent on metallic paint, whereas with this little trick, it's open to all of them. Chrome, classic, matte, metal, on top of then, of course, the metallic. So, all you have to do for this is just select the paint job that you wish to have, back out and hover over any metallic paint job, but without buying it. Then purchase a new license plate, Go back to the respray menu and select pearlescent. Now you can apply your pearlescent paint job on top of any type of paint and it's entirely just up to you to experiment with what you think looks nice. Hopefully this will help you out. Now a second tip is just a small heads up to tell you that the rear of the High Life update car, the Zentorno, is actually 100% bulletproof. I had Breezy open up fire on my back window, and even the holes don't even let bullets through, making it completely bulletproof from the rear, which is pretty helpful in car chases in online public sessions, as it just completely prevents you from being hurt from the back. So, this final tip of the week is actually going to be taking place in a P96 laser that I stole from Forza Kudo. So, this is a trick demonstrating a better way of dogfighting in the jet, making your cannon shots far more precise than they would be otherwise. So, for those of you that have actually flown the laser, you'll know just how difficult it is to have a dogfight up in the air. It's mainly just trying to lock onto the other person with the rockets, not really ever having a use for the cannons, despite them being very strong, very effective, but it's just too inaccurate. So what you need to do for this is just deploy the landing gear in the air by clicking the left analog stick, which is the same on Xbox and PS3, and this will increase your drag, therefore slowing down the aircraft, allowing you to hit way more shots on your target. You have to make sure when you take off to pull it up, otherwise you will be much slower than you would have been otherwise, but when you're in a dogfight, definitely just put it down. You can't get out of the way as easy, but you will land a lot more shots on them. So, that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to go and leave a like down below as it really would help me out. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can catch up on all the weekly installments of this series and all the videos that I bring out through the week. I'm going to be striving to get out four videos a week for you guys. No promises, I have a lot going on at the minute. But hopefully you guys will enjoy all of the videos that I put out and I love making them if you guys love watching them. That's pretty much it. Thank you all very much for watching, guys. It's been Fly from Rodeo Studios. Signing out.